The National Democratic Congress continued its campaign against a claim that there are two registers for the election. The party's Deputy General Secretary told the media that the commission could not provide clarity on the matter. Last week we have spoken about some supplementary list, which is extra the, the polling station register. That supplementary list, the claim was 541. Today they are telling us that it has shifted to some 800 and something. We demanded for several minutes that they should mention the exact number they were not able to mention. They said they would give that register to us on Monday. So it means that this election, we are going into the election with two registers. The other one, we do not know the exact number as at yet. We know the 17 million and 29,000. But the second register, we do not know the number. We think this is very dangerous. This is a recipe for disaster. And the Electoral Commission must come frontal on, on, on this, this particular matter. A Deputy Local Government and Rural Development Minister, Obi Amwa, who was one of the NPP's representatives at the meeting, said he will also wait on the Commission's response to the matter as promised. We're demanding the list. Now they're saying that the court has also given a ruling and then there will be additional names. So we want the list. And they're saying that we should give them up to Monday. We, we really can wait for the Monday. I don't think that um, it's supposed to favor anybody. As far as I'm concerned, once the names are shown to us, we all look at where they are supposed to vote. And we as a party, we train our agents as to what should be done on election day. The NDC also took issue with the commission's provisions for prisoners voting in prisons without polling stations. The electoral commission is saying that there are some prisons that have some substantial number of people who vote. But their polling stations are not in the prison. It's, it's a place close by. Meanwhile, the security officials would be working on that day, the prison warders would be working on that day, providing security at various polling stations. So we will not have enough men to guide the, the prisoners to go and vote. So what they are suggesting was that they were going to give them a machine and the entire voter register list so that they would vote from the, the, the prisons. We explained to them that that was very dangerous and it would provide room for abuse. With barely two weeks to the polls, it will appear that the commission still has a last lap at convincing political parties of its readiness for the all-important national exercise.